Hi everyone, today we're going to be discussing Archimedes' principle. So we're considering, say, a column of water or some other fluid with perhaps some sort of an object occupying a volume V within the liquid. Let the pressure be P and the density rho, each of which can vary with position. Now, the gradient of the pressure plus rho times G is equal to zero for equilibrium. This is because minus grad P, let's say minus grad P, is the force density. Due to the pressure. And rho G is the weight of unit volume. The total force acting on the body is given by its weight plus the integral over the boundary of the body of the pressure times ds, except we need to put a minus sign here because given a little area of the surface, ds points outwards Whereas the pressure gives rise to a force in the opposite direction, so it goes in that direction. So it gives rise to a force of the pressure ds. At this stage, we'll use the corollary of the divergence theorem. So take vector A to be the integral over volume of the gradient of phi dv minus the integral over the boundary of the volume of phi ds. Then A is independent of position, so I can look at A squared. That's the integral of a dot grad phi dv minus the integral of phi a dot ds. That's over the volume, that's over its boundary. So that's the integral of the divergence of a phi dv over the volume minus the integral of a phi dot ds. And we know that's zero by the divergence theorem. Therefore, a squared is zero, that implies a is zero. So the integral over the volume of grad phi dv is equal to the integral over the boundary of phi ds. And we will be applying this where phi is equal to pressure. So the integral of p ds, the minus sign over the boundary, is equal to the integral of the gradient of p, the minus sign, dv over v. At this stage, we notice that the pressure is not actually defined within the volume. So we extend the definition 
of P to within V in any way we like. So long as P agrees on the boundary and P is at least continuously differentiable. So the total force acting on the body is mg, the weight as we said, and then we have minus the gradient of p integrate over the volume. But we know that that's equal to the integral rho times vector g dv. So that's the mass of the body times gravity minus, or g can come out, and that just leaves me with m prime times g. Well, that's the mass of the displaced fluid. So the force is equal to the weight minus the buoyant force. And that's just equal to the integral of rho dv over the volume, which is, as I say, the mass of the displaced fluid times gravity. And there you have it. That is Archimedes' principle. As a quick example, if rho is constant, that is the density is constant, then grad p is equal to rho g implies that P, which is now just a function of z, is going to be equal to P0 plus rho g z minus z0. We need a minus sign, of course. Because that's equal to minus rho times scalar g times the vector ez, and we see that z naught minus z is h, so that's p naught plus rho g h, which is the formula you get from school level physics. Okay, and that completes our discussion of Archimedes' principle.